Neo satellites is set to be the technology which can revolutionize global connectivity. We're talking about virtually ubiquitous internet access and data transfer capabilities even in the world's remotest locations and all this is thanks to the technology called Low Earth Orbit Satellites or LEO. Today, nearly half of the world's population does not have access to internet because broadband internet requires an extensive track of underground cables. Expansion of terrestrial infrastructure requires civil work. It requires underground fiber ducts, pole attachments, tower construction for the cellular base station, and all that comes with its own challenges. And for geographies without a direct access to fiber optic cable infrastructure, or which are great distances from high bandwidth capacity, satellite connectivity is the only option available. Now talking about satellite connectivity, communication via space was traditionally provided by bus-sized satellites called geosatellites or geostationary satellites. Now these typically orbit about 35,000-36,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Now they can provide internet to places that cables find hard to reach. But since that one satellite services a lot of people, its data capacity is limited, which limits the data speed. And because they're so far away from Earth, their latency is high. So here come in LEO satellites, which are a network of revolving internet beaming satellites which are encircling the Earth and they orbit about 2,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. So at a much lower level compared to the geostationary satellites, which are about 35,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The basic premise is because LEO satellites are closer to Earth as compared to these traditional geo satellites, the latency delay will drop. Now what is latency? Latency is the time that it takes for your data to complete one round trip. It goes from Earth to the satellite and back to Earth again. The latency for LEO is set to be about 50 milliseconds, 6 to 8 times lower than that of a geo satellite. Once in orbit, the satellite will constantly be on the move, revolving, unlike a geostationary satellite, which is stationary. And because the satellite, a LEO satellite, does not stay in one place above the Earth, you need several satellites overhead at any point in time to cover the many users. To get this internet, what does one need? You need a small antenna. This antenna will aim its beam at whatever satellite is overhead and you get internet. And because there is a constellation of satellites beaming internet at you, we're talking about instantaneous signal. No more buffering. Uh, the opportunity is huge, which is why billions of dollars have been poured into it. Morgan Stanley estimates space will become a $1 trillion economy. They're calling it an investment go rush, which is currently underway in the new space sector. Companies are angling for a piece of this global market, which is made up of in-flight internet, maritime services. In India, for example, now take you know, an oil and gas exploration site, which is in a fairly remote area. Now, why laying fiber for this could take a very long time and could also be very expensive, LEO satellites could achieve connectivity in mere weeks. So the speed of deployment can drive this adoption, according to experts. With great opportunity comes great competition. And this is a space which has attracted interest from the likes of Elon Musk SpaceX, which is the Starlink satellite constellation project, Amazon's Coupier project, and Bharti Enterprises backed OneWeb has planned a fleet of 648 LEO satellites. They're talking about making global service available by May of next year, including in India. Elon Musk, SpaceX, has deployed 1,800 satellites, as we understand, for the Starlink constellation. And its goal, its stated goal, is to launch about 42,000 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit by mid-2027. But experts worry, with a slew of satellites into Earth, it will become a hefty cost for space explorations. One of the big issues is space debris. Our space is increasingly getting more crowded as more and more satellites are sent into sky. Neo satellites are densely populated since they are sent into space in the form of clusters. And there is a real risk that the number of objects, that as the number of objects in the space right, it will make it hard to safely operate in space. And space junk could be disastrous if it hits other functional space equipment. The second concern is what several astronomers have complained about is that these constellations are blocking the Earth's view of the universe, which is already a challenge owing to the thick atmosphere. 
So why Leos provide a lot of benefit in providing internet access to the remotest part of the world, we have to take into account the threat that orbital debris provides to space flight as well as exploration. Thank you.